Hi, welcome to Travelbag uh, Limited .ie. I'm here to show you uh, information about J1 uh, programs, which are the summer work and travel programs in USA. And this video is focused on uh, programs that are called self-placed and walking. So our web page is www.travelbacklimited.ie and if you search for these programs you choose here on the left panel programs in USA and then J1 works and travel and then you choose uh, self-placed and walk in uh, this is the main page of the program and the main uh, information is found here at the top there is a program called price, country etc uh, well, uh, it should be good to say that the price is one of the lowest uh, in Ireland. And um, when exploring more of the information available uh, for this program, you can see that there are five different statements. So let's start with Make Changes. If you click on Make Changes, there is a, a short statement about what change will this program make to your life? That you will get a wonderful experience uh, from working in the US and uh, there are some advantages which may it may bring to you in the future. And then there is a promotional video so that you know uh, the culture and uh, how the things are in the US. So this is quite like an introduction. Then there's a truth statement which informs you about the basic facts that you really need to know if you want to take part in these programs. Well, there are basically two programs here presented. First one is walk in. Well, the price you can see now here and the duration is maximum four months and uh, the true is, truth is that you in this program go to US without any job pre-arranged and once you get there you have seven days to find a suitable job get it verified and then you can uh, start working there so this is called walk-in and self-placed is that our agency doesn't provide you with uh, employment but you find it for yourself before you go to US and uh, it must be confirmed by our agency that the company that you f found mm, is suitable for this program and again, the maximum is uh, four months to stay. And there are other details on this program. And then um, there are general requirements for applicable for both programs. Uh, for example, of the required age, you should be at least eight, eight, 18 and can't be older than 30. Uh, that you should be a student and you should have um, Irish nationality. Then there is information uh, what the two programs include. It's an insurance and uh, important forms. And then uh, what isn't included in the, in the price is just your flight and the visa fee. Now we come to statement our commitment, which is basically about what we promise you uh, to provide you with um, so these are the administra administrative uh, things and forms that we will get you but also a support in whatever situation may come and help before, during and even after uh, your stay in the US and on the other hand in your commitment there are some things that you promise us that you do and these are regulations and basic rules of the program that you just need to keep 
so you can go through them here and then it uh, contains information about how to proceed um, when applying for this program well I will show you more detailed information uh, in a minute but let me just say now that here you can uh, see the link for online application which is the first step that you do if you want to apply for this program and uh, there is a quite good video tutorial where you can see what to fill in the application and then there is a very basic scheme of applying procedure I'll be I'll get back to it in a minute and then there's the last one what others say and there are some uh, testimonies from previous stays from previous participants of these programs well as I told you now let's get let's have a look on the applying procedure step by step that's why I made this let's say guidelines before you go so the first thing that you do is yeah, that you fill in the online application I showed you the link uh, a few, few moments ago so you just click it and it's an online form uh, where you fill the personal information and information about your education and etc and you should also upload your CV uh, a copy of your passport and a photo be careful the passport should be valid at least for six months after your return from your stay in the US and there is the instruction video as I told you you can have a look at it and once uh, the application is completed please send us an email uh, on info at travelbuglimited.ie uh, saying that you uh, have started application procedure and submitted the online application we will then go through the info that you provided us with and ask you about unclear or missing information and then we will generate a final document of agreement with terms and conditions and we will send it to you and uh, you are supposed to sign it and then send it back to us either by post or uh, you can scan it and send it electronically okay? in every case please make sure that you uh, keep a copy of this document now what we need now uh, are the different documents and form. First of them is a certification that you are a student. So you will need to hand in student status verification form with official university stamp and signature. And this form must be accompanied, accompanied yeah, by a letter from your university that would confirm that you are a student. And the other thing that we need from you to prove is the evidence of sufficient funds to support yourself for the first month of your stay. It is set on approximately $900. And we prefer, um, as this statement, some official bank statement, document of the bank, that this money is disponible for you or it can be solved in a different way for example that your parents um, assure us that they have some money or some funds that they can provide you with the next step that you should do is paying for the program because the sooner you pay um, the fee is the better because uh, we really need to use the money to get some permissions and uh, forms, official forms for US government. Well, it is possible to split uh, the payment into two payments, uh, the deposit and then the rest. But uh, the truth is that the procedure could be quite delayed by this. So it's better to pay at once. 
what we then commit to do is uh, provide you with uh, an interview and orientation. The aim is to evaluate your level of English if you are not a native language speaker. And if you are, we will orientate you uh, in conditions, regulations and other important aspects of getting a J1 visa and traveling to US and working there and living for uh, the summer month. Um, we should do it in person, but as we know that students don't have much free time, we negotiated with our uh, partner that uh, we can conduct these interviews slash orientations via Skype. So we will ask you for your Skype details and then conduct it. And uh, after it is done, we will need you to prove that uh, we went through the orientation with you. So we will ask you to sign a confirmation of interview slash orientation form. So you will send it and you will sign it and send it to us. Now we come to the part uh, which concerns your employment. In this self-placement program, you are supposed to find an employer on your own and previously to your departure. This implies you have to have an official job offer confirmed. Ask the host company supervisor to fill out and sign employment verification form, one of the most important forms, then sign it yourself and send it to us. Uh, we will assess the employer in terms of eligibility because uh, some employers are suitable, some are not. And we will do so by contacting the, some representatives of the host company and uh, we will verify the details that you provide us with and um, what uh, what's next is that you will get a package of necessary information it will be other documents and forms for instance uh, students handbook and pre-departure orientation guide insurance brochure because insurance is included uh, in our service then um, s US Department of State and fact sheet and visitor information book packet blah. you should study everything but you will also get a DS 2019 form which is very very important so please check if the dates and other information there is correct and if it is um, then uh, sign it and put there also the date or the signature and if it is okay you can uh, start filling uh, visa application you do so at this link here it's a link of uh, government or embassy of US and the first part uh, of the web page is dedicated to instruction about filling the non-immigrant visa and then you can access it there and take uh, time to fill it because it's quite long but it's worthy and in the end of the application filling you will get visa fee payment details and you should pay the fees and keep receipt or other record of your payment. When you have it, when you fill the, the visa application on embassy side or embassy page, you can set your appointment uh, at US Embassy. And to arrange an appointment, you call this number here or you can check website for um, updated telephone number and uh, we just want to uh, inform you that you shouldn't be surprised if you find the calls 
more expensive than the normal Irish one because uh, that's usual, that's really normal. So uh, don't get discouraged by that. And when you have your uh, appointment set, it means you know the date and time of your appointment, let us know these details. Because then you will go to embassy before that, we will inform you about every important document and uh, other things that you should have when uh, going to embassy. They will, they will check you and they will then decide if to issue or not to issue a visa for you. Well, basically what they want uh, to get to know in, at the embassy is that if you have an intention to go back to your country after you finish um, your work in the US. So it's very important that you have uh, with you the form of student uh, enrollment that basically says that you are going to continue studying in your country um, in the end of summer and you don't intend to stay somehow in the US. The decision and the procedure of issuing visa may take up to four weeks, but normally it, uh, it takes around seven business days. And when you get your passport and visa back, uh, you can book your flights. Uh, we don't recommend to book flights before you go to the embassy appointment because then you can lose money by uh, the booking which wouldn't be uh, in vain if you didn't get the visa. And uh, we can provide you with a link where you can book your flights uh, very cheaply. And here uh, the procedure doesn't end, the procedure continues, but you basically get to the point when you can take off. But before you take off, uh, you should really thoroughly study the rules uh, that you must keep when you arrive to US, when, uh, all the time that you are there, and even after you get back, uh, before everything is finished. There are many steps to follow and rules, and if you don't, and if you don't keep them, then a uh, program can be cancelled or terminated, and that's what you wouldn't want, would you? So uh, make sure that you understand everything before you go there. We will make sure that you have all the information that you need and that you understand. So. This is where the before you go instruction ends. I hope you got an idea of how is the application procedure and that uh, you just have a perfect experience from your uh, summer work and travel program uh, in the US and that you will inform us or ask us for whatever information you may have on our um, email address or you can check our website so that's it see you